And welcome to the contest episode, where I will most likely have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, like I said, I already did a bunch of Poke Blocks off screen. They're not particularly good ones, because I don't really have good berries. I used a bunch of cherry berries, which raise only coolness. And then I started using these, which do cool and, I think, smartness. Whatever. Uh, there are much better berry choices out there, but I do not have any of them, and I haven't been growing any throughout the game, so I'm stuck with these. Anyway, Berry Blender, your goal is just to uh, hit A whenever the thing passes in front of the thing and hope to get an accurate little thing. There's really no way to describe this other than watching it. And I want to know how the hell this is a blender and why blenders require constant input like that, but anyway, there you go, and you get your block, and I think this is the last one the Pikachu will actually take, so let's uh, go to the Pez Dispenser, feed it, wonderful little animation there, and uh, it grew by one pixel, and I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's definitely... Once it has all the sparkles on the left, uh, it won't eat anymore. So, yeah, that's the last one it'll ever take. Uh, I was lucky that Adamant actually does enjoy spicy flavors, so... Uh, that's about all I needed to do. Let's go ahead and, I guess, start the contest. Even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Actually, wait, no, hold on. I, uh, also... Raised it a level to get Thunderbolt, so now all four of them are cool moves. Um, let's see, badly startles all Pokemon that get good appeals. Next appeal can be made earlier next turn. Void being startled and highly appealing. I am not going to remember what these things do. I hope it explains it during the actual battle. But yeah, there we go. And uh, also, before we start the contest, it's time for dress up! Okay, let's, let's see how much crap we can cram onto this thing within the time limit, which doesn't exist, so we'll put on the stump, and, uh, let's see, we've got some Dr. Insano glasses, and floating disco ball, and random stack of coins, just floating there, I guess, and... I gotta hurry. Uh, here, here's a mushroom on top of the coins, and uh, a spoon uh, attached to the tail, and um, microphone stand oh, all the way over here. I don't care. We gotta hurry. Uh, put on random top hat on the ear, and uh, Pikachu will be on fire. And we'll put a surfboard. Come on, no, no, surfboard. Come on. We gotta put a surfboard just sitting over here. That'll get bonus points. And, um... Put a balloon. And... Random turch wig mask over everything. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's see. Can fit a few more things on here. Mustache. And... A random piece of candy on the surfboard. And weird cutout victory bell thing over here and a cloud floating in the air. Come on, there's so many more useless things I can cram onto here. A leaf sticking out of the hat. Magic carpet. Um, something that looks like it would be from Kirby. A much smaller tree than the ones in the background. And a spot... No, no. Things are, like, not agreeing with me here. Uh, random spotlight. Nah, forget that. Gotta have the floating pipe, though. Sitting on the... But pipe can be down here. Okay, let's see. We can probably fit a few more things on here. Um, Bandana. Going over the top hat. Sure, why not? And, uh... Trogdor's Majesty. And a bunch of sparklies. Okay. I think, I think we did well here. So, now let's move on to the actual contest. Uh, 
normal. I think you're stuck with normal, actually, until you beat the other one, so coolness. And let's see how this goes. This is going to be a new experience for me, somewhat. I kind of know what I'm doing from Pearl, but this is somewhat different mechanics, I think. Well, you can't say that they didn't put effort into these. Tay Tay? Really? And I have a feeling that's going to be the one that I'm competing with the most. But you never know. People might consider Love Disk to be the coolest Pokemon ever. Mine did get a lot of hearts, though. Probably because I fed it a bunch of Pez. And because I dressed it up so light and nicely. Let's look at that again. Isn't that amazing? And... What? Okay, here's the appeal time. So yeah, I think this is basically just like... a battle, except you don't actually take damage. Okay, so I'm going first. Thunderbolt does a lot of... gets a lot of hearts. Um, I already go first, so I don't need this. That might be helpful, but I'll lead with Thunderbolt. What was that weird effect? Yay. Only one? Maybe you won't maybe you only do get one. What? What? That's annoying. So I guess Thunderbolt, I mean Thunder Wave is useful, but not if I'm going first. So maybe this isn't going to go over that well. What? What the crap? Oh. Um, what? God damn it, I'm confused. Okay, next round. I guess now I'm last? Or not? I don't even know. Um... Double team, why not? Oh, I'm last, okay. I figured it wouldn't let me attack until they went, but... I don't know. I'll probably do this a second time after this, because I really have no idea what's going on. I'm, like, looking into some sort of an alien experiment here. I really don't get what's going on. Okay. Okay, so when you raise the meter all the way, you get a whole bunch of hearts, I guess. Yeah, that, that kind of sucked. So... Oh, oh, did it now. All two hearts that it got. Now what? And I'm last again, okay. So... Um... What, I can't use... Is this the last round or something? I'll do this, because I'm going last. I can maybe make them lose their hearts, I don't know. I'm still probably going to come in last place, which is kind of irritating, because this was the first level. You'd think that they'd, like give you crappy competition so you can kind of learn what the hell you're doing, but... Eh. Black heart. Is that what the jam stuff is? I don't even know. There is an next appeal, then? Or isn't... I don't know. Who can tell? Okay, so now you lose all your hearts, hopefully. But only by one. Or two. 
Yay, bonus hearts, except I'm still probably in last place. I'm getting there. How many rounds are there? Does anything explain this? It probably does, honestly. Okay, um... I'm still in last place, though. I think if you use the same move twice in a row, then it doesn't get much att attraction, and that's why it's gray. So, I won't do that again. I would like to go earlier, so I'll try this. Oh, I'm not last place, never mind. So that means the Makuhita is going to probably screw me over. Aerial Ace was worth six hearts. I could have raised Pikachu a whole bunch of levels to get Thunder, but yeah, not doing that. And apparently it only gives you two hearts anyway. I hope everyone else watching is as confused as I am, because I'm not providing very good commentary here. Why does Seismic Toss distract people? Is there any rhyme or reason behind any of this? Okay, well, I, at least I'm in first now, and now I'm assuming this is the last round. So, yeah, I would rather not be startled at all. Do I want to do I want to avoid startling, or do I want to just go for points? Uh. I'll go for the points, actually. If I get enough, it might raise the applause enough so that somebody else doesn't get it. I don't know if that ever goes up by more than one. No, it did not. So this stupid thing's gonna get it now. After it attacks the audience with a bunch of tornadoes. What did that mean? It's the same type as the one before it. It isn't, at all. Come on, lose like 90 hearts. Yay. That's like the stupidest comment right there. The largely unnoticed one. Okay, are we done yet? And the stupid tail 01. So I guess it just ends whenever somebody wins. I got second place. Considering I had absolutely no idea what the crap I was doing, I guess that's not so bad. But we already know the results. What? Oh, is that from the Pokeblock thing? Maybe I did win. Let's see. Um, okay, I guess I won. So I guess my little complaint about the game not explaining anything was unreasonable. And like I said, it probably does explain if you talk to the other person, but I guess you just have to kind of get in there and try it. Yay, I have a ribbon. There's like 70 different kinds of those, and some people have every single ribbon on one Pokemon, and I want to know how the crap they do it. But, uh, where does it even show it? It just says ribbons one. It doesn't say, I guess that's not until fourth gen. Okay, that was a nice little distraction, I guess. Um, really? What else do I say? <laughs> and I'm not going to do another one, so. Pikachu, I guess you had your little, uh, time to shine. Put you back. And next time, I guess, uh, I'll be doing the Magma Hideout. The contest wasn't so bad. Oh, wait, here, I get to do a stupid interview. Okay, let's see, how was the contest? Confusing. Is that an option? 
um, confused. Close enough. Oh, yeah, it was so confusing, yet I still got a good feel for it. Well, you know what I've got to say now. Except I don't think I've actually seen a love disc. So... Nope, okay, what's, a real, what's another really uncool Pokémon? Coughing. Coughing is cool, though. It's... so, that one was actually... genuinely... yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's the end of the contest, and I have gone over 15 minutes because YouTube now apparently allows me to do this. So, let's just look at this beautiful picture again. And while I'm at it, cram more stuff onto it. Because, why the hell not?